and welcome to this video tutorial. Um, today I'm going to take the opportunity to show you a uh, little bit older application uh, for modeling. Um, the, the main reason I wanted to show it to you is uh, um, because the geometry that it exports uh, works pretty well in sculptors. So if you want to build a base mesh and then export it out and take it into sculptors. It works really well. So anyway, this is CB Model Pro, and this is a beta version. Um, it is, as far as I know, is no longer uh, being developed, and it's a free application. And I will put the link in the de description so you can go download it and and I give it a try. Um, it's not really a full modeling package or anything it's just a lot of fun to play with and if you can put it in your pipeline great if you if you can't well uh, let's see okay you can model and you can paint and it it uh, does uh, create automatic UVs uh, and the geometry is triangles so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go over the interface first. Okay, um, starting here on the left-hand side, you have all your your uh, navigation. And on the right side, you have your modeling tools. And also, uh, you have your paint tools here, too. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and right here on our uh, uh, primitives bar we will just go ahead and click the sphere and bring it in and down here at the bottom uh, we can bring in a symmetry plane uh, so whatever happens on uh, one side of the uh, object also happens on the other um, okay let's start with a uh, point pull so you just choose that tool and you can click somewhere on the mesh and you can uh, begin to uh, start modeling. Just drag it out. Also uh, you have, let's control Z that, you have uh, your uh, level of uh, detail over here you have low medium and high I usually like to start out in medium I don't use this a lot it's it's a nice toy to play with um, let's say we're using a point pull and I'm pulling out some geometry here well you have these sliders right down here um, this one works with this tool and it uh, controls your influence also on the uh, the tool itself you have a cone here on top that is uh, to pull in the direction of the normal and then you also have a uh, sphere here that is you can just move it around freely okay that's the point and pull tool and then we have the flatten tool and you can flatten your objects. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if I do it there, uh, if I move down here, you'll notice the autumn, the, uh, the little cursor changes down there to flatten the other direction. Or if I go around top, I can flatten this way. Okay. Uh, then you have the bend tool. You have uh, this bar here. <coughs> and you have uh, three spheres on it uh, the middle one moves it up and down and then these outside handles allow you to bend your object you can move it around depending on how you want to bend something okay let's control Z that and uh, you have the neck tool um, you notice as you move around on the, uh, the geometry here the little icon changes um, if I click here uh, it will start the neck tool 
in the vertical and if it's going this way it will work in the horizontal you just click and then you can drag it up and down and then you can use your sliders of course for your area of influence and this other slider <clears throat> over here on the left hand, left hand side is uh, the diameter or the size of uh, the neck tool. Let's control Z that and then we have this, let's turn a mirror off and then we have the scale tool scale up this direction scale up this direction or scale the whole thing uh, now let's go ahead and use the poke tool it's just kind of like a, a blob or a uh, Oh, I can't remember what that's that's called. Um, anyway, you have a red uh, ball here in the middle of it that you can move it around, and then of course you have your two sliders here where you can can uh, mess with those a little bit, and also another option for the poke tool is to poke in or poke out. Okay, let's control Z that and before I get any further let's go ahead and discuss navigation um, right here under your resolution control you have uh, the Y is of course the top view Z minus is front X would be uh, one side and then uh, you have X minus Z and minus why okay you can also use uh, if you'll look on uh, the little icon here to change to those views uh, you can also use the corresponding uh, uh, keys on the keypad if I want to go to top view I'm just gonna press Y on the keypad Z minus or the minus is a shift so shift Z will be the front view you can also see this little guy here in the uh, here in the control um, will be facing the direction that your model is in and also you can click on this little guy and start moving it around and it is pretty much a trackball rotation uh, something I'm not particularly fond of. And you have some other controls here. Uh, move the surface or the view. Rotate the surface or the view. And then you can zoom in. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back to the front view. I think that was... I don't remember how to use that. Okay, you have a zoom let's go back to the front view here and okay that's the basic uh, you have up here you have undo and redo and then delete if I wanted to delete this object just click on delete and brings up a cursor with an X and then just click on whatever you want to delete uh, also has help file um, it's not real long but uh, everything I'm covering here is in there and probably some more okay let's go ahead and bring in uh, sphere again and I'll tell you what instead of sphere let's delete that and let's bring in a cube and let's go to the scale tool and let's scale it out and up a little bit and then let's use the draw tool you can draw a line and then you can use uh, curve pull to uh, move that area so that's how you can add uh, detail to your model you see it looks pretty faceted there 
what you click off of it the fastening cleans up a little bit um, but if you go to a higher density uh, that uh, whatever you do is a, a little more detailed let's see let's control Z that and go back to the front view again and let's uh, draw an arc um, you can draw an arc you just click in one place and then click where you want the other end and then you decide how big you want your arc and you can use the curve pull again on that or you can go ahead and close this geometry up um, if I put my cursor over part of the line I've just drawn it will start a new it will kind of snap to there and then we can just drag that out a little bit and now we have a circle and you have uh, you can use a curve pull or now with a closed curve you now have another option which is area pull so we're just gonna, I'm gonna show you what area pull will do also uh, the right mouse button allows you to rotate in your view so I'm just gonna pull this out here or I could pull it in let's control Z that and let's let's do an area pull again and let's just pull it back As you can see, you can probably do some uh, decent hard surface stuff. Uh, okay, uh, that's pretty much the basic uh, basic tools there, and you can uh, do a whole lot with those tools, uh, especially if you, you know, swap your um, your resolution around let's go ahead and delete this I'm gonna show you a uh, well, where did it go I have another well I guess I maybe overrode it doggone it let's see what we got here anyway I was experimenting around with the torso uh, I did manage to get a really good one uh, but I don't know it's it's gone <laughs> anyway also up here on our primitives bar you also have a body object which you can use to start uh, modeling a, a person I really don't like that one uh, but you can give it a try and then you also have a head and which is uh, basically a tune head I definitely uh, unless I was doing modeling a tune character I definitely wouldn't use that okay let's uh, let's go ahead and do something right quick here let's uh, let's make a quick uh, I don't know some quick object here and let's just uh, oops let's go make sure we're in the front view I messed up the uh, mirror and there is an issue with the mirror for some reason if you have if you if you're not looking straight on or straight to the side and you activate your uh, symmetry plane sometimes it'll mess up and you can't get it to go back where it's supposed to be you see uh, anyway let's go ahead and scale this and I'm going to show you how to open this geometry in another uh, application okay just just remember that the flat part is is the top of our geometry and let's just go ahead and export that uh, when you hit the export you have several several options here you have screenshot printer I'm not sure what that is uh, print screen to printer hmm ok 
Okay, you have OBJ, STL, WRL, and 3D XML export. And when you hover your uh, cursor over the icon, it will tell you where the object is being exported to and give you the number of triangles and it will give you the file name uh, which this is file 49 so going to export that out and go ahead and we're going to close up CB Pro and we'll go ahead and open up Blender here you can use uh, any 3D application to open it up in okay and let's import OBJ and let's go to uh, let's see should be under documents or my documents and will be under my CB models <coughs> pardon me and then under models and I believe that was file 49 it also exports MTL uh, so we'll just double click on that and open it up as you can see uh, when you import that into another application it uh, remember that this flat side was the top so what you'll have to do is uh, go ahead and uh, let's see we'll do rotate that on the X 90 degrees oh no, I want to rotate. Let's control Z that and rotate X minus 90. I didn't hit the minus key, did I? Okay. Rotate X minus 90. There we go. Okay. And let's see. Is that the front? Okay. And then you uh, can export this out and then overwrite the file that you just uh, just imported or you can uh, export it out to a different location so let's go ahead and open up sculptors here and I'm going to open up a uh, a mesh that uh, that I created and as you can see it has a mapping data so you can go right to paint mode uh, anyway here's a uh, head mesh that I did in CB Pro and let's go ahead and turn on the wireframe here and as you can see um, it uh, pretty much looks like uh, the wires that you would have in uh, sculptors turn those off and then subdivide it and then just go ahead and start sculpting um, I think that's about it or all I'm going to cover on this um, I hope you find it useful or, or a lot of fun to play with and be sure to subscribe and like this video and uh, hopefully I will have a new blender tutorial up very soon have a great day.